Okay, before we can go on to place our doors and windows, we need to create the floor. So we're gonna go to the architectural tab. From there, we're gonna go to the uh, floor option and the built ribbon. From there, we're gonna choose floor architectural and the floor that we're going to choose is the ground ground layer bearing floor because this is the floor of the ground floor. So just select that and we're going to select the option of pick walls for drawing. There are many options here in the contextual tab but we're going to use the pick walls this is by far the easiest for this uh, and proper as well so we're going to select all the walls and remember as long as there's no um there is no periphery or there is no closed area the floor is not going to be generated now if i click on the green tick there it's supposed to be generated but it's not generating because you can see that there is an intersection there uh, that is creating a obstacle so we'll just click on continue we just need to get rid of some things that don't belong there so what we're going to do is we're going to take the split element option and then turn on the delete inner segment if it is not turned on and then we're gonna come right over here select that location and then we come right over here and select this location and as you can see that the inner segment is now gone but even after that is gone, you can see the spray press on escape to let go of that command. Okay, now we have our modifying cursor back again. Now, if you go here, you can see the pink lines representing the end of the slab. So you can see that the slab is ending there and here. So this particular wall is going outside of the slab. So this is something that we don't want. So what we want to do is we want to select this particular pink line and you can see this uh, little arrow symbol. Just click on it and it will go on the other side of the wall. There we go. It's perfect now. And as you can see, yep, 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 yep. Oh, we'll just do a last check. Yep, everything seems perfect. So we just click on the green tick and there seems to be an issue lines cannot intersect each other highlighted okay let's see what's wrong here okay right over here you can see that there is another line that has remained just select that line and uh, press on the delete key of your keyboard there you go so when i cut it i cut it from here actually i was supposed to cut it from there so that was a mistake okay now just click on the green tick and as you can see the floor now has been drawn so we have the floor slab there now if you want to select the floor slab again you'll see that you cannot select the floor slab even if you click on some empty space because we are not allowing it to select what we need to do is we need to come down over here and you can see the option select elements by face you turn that on and now you can select the slab whenever you want and then uh, you can go and edit the boundary of the slab using this edit boundary option from there as well okay so uh, we'll turn this select elements by face off because we can by mistake click on the slab that we don't want to select on now if you go to the 3d view you can also see that the slab now has been generated here you can see the slab on the bottom and if you press on the rolling button of your mouse and then press on the shift uh, button on your keyboard you'll be able to move it move the model like that you can see the inside of it so you can see the floor on the inside as well of the model okay so that is how we place a slab right so we have placed the ground floor slab okay so that is it for this video i hope uh, this was helpful and you got to learn something new thank you very much for watching